Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Kim here. And today is my flip through of my finished journal. She's kind of, uh, okay, I guess I got a bit of a glare there. Okay, she's kind of a chunky girl. Um, it's, it's more of a, I'm calling it a floral rhapsody. Just a little bit of music in here and some floral designs and stuff. And she's a little on the pink side because I did have um, some custom orders I had to do. Um, so when I did the, the three custom orders, I did extra um, journals. And then I just never got to finish them. So today is the first chance I'm getting to finish one of these. So she is um, one signature inside, even though it's, it's quite chunky, <laughs> as you can see. It measures um, about uh, nine and a half inches tall. Um, she's about six inches wide. And at her deepest point, about four inches deep. Now, there is a lot of ephemera in here that can be removed, which will flatten her out a little bit if you don't want to have all that, that um, thickness. But, um, you know, I couldn't stop. I was filling pages, filling pages, and I figured you, you guys can take it out, or like whoever buys it can take it out on their own and decide what they, they do want to put inside. It comes with um, over, I, the last count I did was 66 removable pieces of ephemera, but I think it's well over 70 now because I kept adding little tuck spots and things and so then put some stuff in. And this journal will also come with some extra bits and pieces um, that I will throw in like, you know, stickers and labels and little bitty stuff and uh, things to further enhance the journal for whoever's going to use it. Now, I like a lot of writing space. I don't like pages filled up with stuff that you, there's nowhere to write. So this is definitely a journal meant for writing. And that's why the ephemera is all removable. So I'm going to get started and show you. Now it's tied with a very shabby uh, um, ties. And I'll just undo it. It's in a bow here. I've got both in here. Here we go. And the um, cover topper is removable. Because you guys saw her the other day without the top on. Now I've tangled everything. So this is completely removable, and the fun part about this is there is a hidden spot in here with, um, I think it's 16, yeah, eight, pa uh, eight pages, 16 sides, sorry. And they're about four inches wide. It's like a little notebook um, so that you can uh, journal and hide everything inside here, and nobody sees it when it's tied onto the journal. So I've decorated with fringe and some trims and lace and a really nice floral fabric on the outside. Same on, on the back. I just kind of um, draped this on and then adhered it to um, fill it in in the empty spaces. Then you open it up and I have a pocket on the front inside cover as well as a pocket on the back uh, inside cover. There's a little cluster here. Um, made with some bits and pieces. It could actually be a tuck spot if you really wanted to. There's an old uh, vintage envelope here from 1979. And a journaling card here. Lovely lady. Stitched on. And I will include my um, um, artist information as well as a little thing about journals. I have a folded... Um, coffee stain paper here and there is a little surprise inside um, it's her special person and um, so she's kind of kept him secret inside there so only the uh, owner will get to see everything is clipped on for the most part unless I tell you otherwise so this is just a tag I'm not going to take everything out of here it's a tag to journal on the back a blank space on the back side of this is kind of a heavier weight of cardstock I've used a combination of new papers, used papers, and oops, just drop something in. And um, you know, recycled papers and stuff. Little pot. This is a little floating pocket that comes out with a cluster on it. 
Here's one of those doilies that I recently uh, designed for my digitals. This is available in my coffee shop, and it is just a little uh, spot to tuck something into. Inside here, I do have um, two pieces of paper. One is uh, a coffee stained doily paper, just a torn piece to write on. And this is a genuine 1914 uh, page out of somebody composing music. And that was her man. He he was um, a musician and he uh, played the piano. And of course, he came up with different music for her. And so that's his story. And this um, folder, if you look at it, is half, if you can see this, it's half of a sleeve that would go over a, a 33 record, like a large record. So it's just half of the sleeve. The other half is on the other, or the other quarter. This is a quarter of it. The other quarter is, is further in the book. Let me just tuck that back in. Actually, I'm just going to rest it on top. This is very, very old paper. So it, you know, it is sub, uh, subject to some tears already. So I don't want to play with it too much. Um, here I have a uh, ribbon band uh, as a belly band, and I have an envelope, um, and it's called Rose Room. Now, this design that I printed on the um, paper was one of Antonio um, Makes uh, Digital Papers uh, when I was doing his um, design team projects. On the other side, you can see he's serenading here, her here with some flowers. Just a little journaling spot to uh, write on. Music sheet. They traveled around the world together. Um, there's some uh, uh, Asian money here. It is uh, glued to the back of uh, paper so it can be written on. Another tag here on the other side of that. This is just a floating uh, journaling spot. Uh, uh, one page folded in half uh, with the trim on it. And there is a little cluster here that, again, could be used as a little tuck spot. Um, it, it's um, just lightly attached. Um, just pretty rose paper. Um, she loved roses, this lady. And um, an envelope, uh, nothing inside, just an empty envelope to... I didn't fill every single envelope. Um, I want to leave room for the person who's buying the journal to make that decision. On this side, just a ribbon band to tuck things into. So I have this little tag here. And then a catalog page from the 1940s um, to um, make this, uh, it's a pattern page. And I just uh, pinned on a piece of uh, lace here. On the other side, I have a postcard that is a tuck with the roses on it and just some coffee stained paper tucked inside there. This is handmade paper that is embossed. It's an envelope and inside there is a writing paper that's also embossed. I'll just pin that back on. Some trim that I've added onto the edge of the page. And then you turn the page over and I have a little cluster here uh, and it's a tuck spot to hold this uh, in here. And this little envelope, there's a little secret inside, so it's for the um, new uh, owner of this journal. Um, a little part page here with a little tuck. I used the doily to tuck this in, and this is an embossed uh, paper, um, this is vintage paper that I've embossed. with the flowers and a blank music sheet um, to write your own songs or notes on. <laughs> I'm making this stuff up as I go along here. And uh, this is a greeting card attached uh, with the floral pattern so you can use it for journaling space. Um, this next page is some handmade paper with leaves in it and I just added a piece of embossed uh, vintage paper as well. And you can see some of the leaves in there. And you can write on this side. It's it's very smooth to write on if you wanted to write on it or add a photograph or something. 
This is a um, collaged paper that I made using Antonio's papers. And then I've added a piece of stationery with a, a matching envelope. And it's just tacked on. On the back side of it, I have a little fabric flip. It's also a tuck spot if you want to tuck something in there. Um, just a page uh, that was written on out of a book from the 70s. Stuck it in there. Coffee stained paper with a little embellishment here with some pearls on it. Back side of it. And this is just a little tuck spot here that I have added this. Uh, it's kind of a bookmark a file folder. I love making these. I haven't made these for a long time, so I'll have to get back into it. Um, so that just tucks back in here. And this is a part page, but there are the other pages on the other side. Um, some avocado dyed paper, and I have a journaling card here. I'm not going to try and take it off. I'm just going to leave it on. It's blank on the back, um, but it's uh, this is avocado dyed paper with uh, coffee, and uh, I used a doily on here as well. Here's the other side, and there's a tag here just uh, tucked in. Uh, this is the coffee stain paper from the other side, or for one that's coming up, sorry. And then um, just a little folded card here for you to write on, and some folded uh, coffee stain paper to go with it. And then on this side, I have a little tuck here, and I just have some German uh, hymnal paper. And I have another uh, ribbon tuck here, and that is holding this envelope in. And you open it up, and there isn't anything inside, but plenty of possibilities. And then this just opens up to show you the full picture of this little girl. This was taken from a... Um, book a page. I think it was one one of those ideal magazines. I think can't remember. It's been a while that it's been in my stash. And then um, this just tucks into here. It is a um, little journaling card with butterflies on it, just to give it a little bit of sparkle. And some coffee dyed paper with some trim on it. And then on this side, it has a folded band with an assortment of goodies in here. I have a greeting card with a matching envelope. Um, I have a little tag. And I have some, some uh, stationery that opens up. And then another little tuck spot here with a little girl tag on here and place to journal on the back. Little lace tab. There's the other side of that uh, pink avocado paper. This is the other side of that uh, writing paper that just had the small narrow part to it. And I have an envelope attached with the matching stationery. And there is a little tuck spot here. This is a um, fold over. As I said, everything is removable and it is an envelope made into two envelopes and there's some goodies inside. This is like a little notebook in here. And there's a couple of little pieces in here to write on as well, just little goodies. And it's decorated on the four sides and just rests back on here. Um, this is the other side of that handwritten paper that was from the 70s, and I've added this embossed card and envelope. I'll just take this paper clip off and put it back on. So there's the back side of it. And again, this is a page you might want to add a photo on instead of having the, the card, but that's entirely up to whoever gets the book. Um, this is the other side of that collaged uh, paper from Antonio Makes, and I have a tag um, um, clipped on on this side, removable, and again, writing on the other side. And then I have this little um, coffee-stained, I think these were cupcake papers, <laughs> and I just love the noise, and just added a little bit of ribbon and some um, shabby trim 
and that's just tucked into there. Here's the other half of that handmade paper. And again, it's just loose in the book, but it is easy to write on as well. You could add a picture on here very nicely. Here's a little tuck spot, and I have a matching napkin up here. Um, just a pretty little napkin. I think it's only done on the one corner. And that just tucks back in there. Of course, when you're doing it on camera, it doesn't quite work as nicely. And this is just a little uh, note card that is wrapped around the page and has a little bit of a cluster decoration on it. Um, again, just following the theme and then a blank uh, page for writing. Um, a little clustery tuck spot where you could add something in. And I probably will go and add a few more pieces of paper into here yet anyway, so, so that they'll all be filled. But with the idea that the person who gets this may decide to take a lot of it out and put their own stuff in. Just a little bow and some trim on the end of this page. Another tuck spot here um, using Antonio's uh, papers again. And I have a vintage piece of writing paper, blank, um, but it's very old. It's naturally stained in these colors, which I love. And then a vintage postcard to my Valentine. Um, I don't know. It's, uh, I don't think it's a tuck card, but it's probably um, early 1920s. And that tucks in there. Blank on the other side, but I have some of the matching trim here. The other half of that um, crochet book. Um, I, I love how this has a doily on it and the doilies. I totally did that by accident. This is just a folded card to open up and write on. And on this side, I just glued down some more trim. I have this little flower, it's a vintage card out of a, out of a book, and a little tuck spot here with this uh, doily, as well as some fringe trim on the edge. This is the other side of that decorative paper, and I just made a little tuck spot here with some leftover of the trim. Another doily tucked under some lace uh, where I can tuck in a card, which this is. It folds out into a full writing space. And then folds up. This is an old hallmark. That's a very old hallmark. And then you flip the page. Another little tuck spot. Oh, a reminder that I was supposed to put something in there. <laughs> so I will do that. Uh, the other side of that map page. And there is a little postcard. A miniature postcard. Actually, let's just take it out so you can see. Um, there it is there. There's another one at the beginning of the book. Uh, in one of the tucks. I don't know if I showed it to you or not. And this just um, clips back on. There's the other side of the map. And then I have another uh, cluster tuck spot here with an old photograph. Look at these lovely ladies. They are from the 1920s for sure. Nothing written on the back, but just a cute uh, image. And then you turn it over, and I have a little cluster here on the side of the page, and a ribbon band, and this opens up, and inside is all the different swatches that I worked with for colors in this book, um, and a few little uh, fabric papers to make a fabric flip, so that you can still write on the inside of this, as well as on the sides and the back, so that tucks in there as well. Oh, goes this way. There's the other half of that record um, sleeve that I've cut in half. Like if you can imagine that it had the round circle and so then I cut it in half and made two pockets out of this one here. So this is just some um, dried pansies that I've laminated into a card and then uh, stitched around and made a little journaling card with it. Some writing paper tucked inside. And, oh, here's the other postcard. And then another doily that is just a little tuck spot to tuck this postcard into. And these are vintage uh, black and whites. Now, this is uh, Villa Adriana. Um, I don't know where it's from. On this page, I have some fringe along the top and um, a little uh, letter. Um, 
it's a reproduction of one I did, I think. And then uh, on the back side is a blank writing space to write on. And that's just on the back side of this design paper. And then I have the pocket at the back with a little cluster that can be used as a tuck spot if you want with another little coin envelope. Uh, somebody must have given me this, I'm not sure, because I don't have this stamp. <laughs> so um, it's just a nice little tuck spot and it's empty inside for somebody to fill it. So that's the whole journal. There you go, in a nutshell. <laughs> <laughs> so I will be putting this up for sale in my uh, coffee uh, shop uh, store. And I'm just going to straighten this out. Let's see, I've knotted it over here. Um, so this just sits on top. Nothing to tie or anything. It's all, all done for you. So I just got to grab it. And you just bring your ribbons around and tie it on the side. And so there she is. She will be available for sale tonight. By the time this video is up, she will be on my coffee site. Um, and all the specs will be there, as well as the information on how to watch this again on the video. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done a book to sell uh, publicly. Like I said, I, I mostly sell. Um, I have somebody that I work with on commission. And so usually by the time I get all those books done, I don't have time to do other books. And even though um, I did do uh, three, uh, three for her and then three uh, to sell, um, these ones are completely different um, because uh, I, I create for her under, you know, a different name so that my books are, are uh, private. Uh, she is an agent and resells my books, um, so there is no association with what I do online on YouTube as to what I do for her on the side. Anyway, that's it. That's all. <laughs> um, so I hope you enjoyed this. And tomorrow is my Techniques Tuesday, and uh, I have a fun uh, flower. We're doing some flower centers again, the, the centers of the flowers, because the next few weeks, uh, Tuesdays are going to be all about making flowers. So um, uh, stay tuned for that. And I hope you enjoyed this. And I wish you all a very creative week. And I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye for now.